One minute they're here, the next they're gone. The history of infamous kidnappings in America is long and stretches back centuries. In some cases, the missing are released and recovered alive, while others are not so lucky. Other disappearances remain unsolved. Cynthia and Parker May 19, 1836, Waco, the nine-year-old Texan girl is kidnapped by Comanche Indians during a surprise attack on her family's homestead. She is spotted four years later living as a member of the tribe and unwilling to return to Anglo society. Charlie Ross July 1, 1874, Philadelphia, two men kidnap the little boy with the promise of buying him and his brother candy. The kidnappers demand $20,000 in ransom and the case becomes the crime of the century. Eddie Cudahy December 18, 1900, Omaha, a local butcher abducts the 16-year-old son of the millionaire owner of the Cudahy Packing Company. The ransom note demanding $25,000 refers to the Charlie Ross kidnapping and the family hires the Pinkerton Detective Agency to lead the manhunt. Elsie Parabek April 8, 1911, Chicago, the little Czech-American girl disappears while walking to her aunt's house. Police are convinced that gypsies from a nearby encampment are involved. Bobby Dunbar August 23, 1912, St. Landry Parish, the four-year-old disappears during a family fishing trip to Swayze Lake in Louisiana. After a massive manhunt, a boy is found at the family claims to be Bobby, yet another woman says the boy is her son in a case of mistaken identity. Bobby Franks May 21, 1924, Chicago, the 14-year-old son of a millionaire vanished leaving an after-school baseball game. The next day the Franks family receive a ransom note demanding $10,000 for the boy's safe return. Two young men from affluent families are arrested and claim they committed the crime to demonstrate their perceived intellectual superiority.